All right, so in today's day and age, do you need an AI powered voice recorder? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Desmond. I make content about tech and travel gear, and I've been testing a lot of new tech lately, especially tech with built in AI and agents. And this right here, this is from our sponsor, Mobvoi. This is their tick note. This is very similar to other AI voice recorders that I've tested on this channel. But one thing that is different now is I actually find myself using these recorders much more often than any other feature on my iPhone or even my Android. So first of all, let's just do a quick overview of the tick note. Hopefully you can see it right here. It is a tiny, almost credit card thin recording device. It is designed to record your voice when you're just standard talking. Let's actually just start a recording right now uh, so that I can show you what the transcription and what the details look like. But during this whole video, we'll just be recording it. But as you can see here, it is very thin. You've got a tiny little LCD screen, a power button or record button, and a little toggle switch because this thing has two modes. It is designed to record just standard voice notes like this, or it can record phone calls and meetings directly from your device when paired with it. So I can be on a call for Google Hangouts or on a phone call or a FaceTime or basically anything where I am talking or there are people talking and it will record all of that audio, transcribe it, brain map it, format it, organize it, uh, and give me a number of additional AI features. Now, when you're looking at this device, let's just walk through some of the specs. Like I mentioned, it is an almost credit card thin sized recording device. It is made out of aluminum. I think it's about 29 grams. So it's really, really quite light, uh, really easy to carry around. And much like some of the other AI voice recorders I have, it includes a kind of smart pouch. You slide this in, to its holder and it attaches to the back of your iPhone or your Android phone or basically anything with MagSafe compatibility. But it is a very convenient way to carry this around. But as I mentioned before, it's not the only device available that allows you to do this. A few other things that are pretty cool to call out is it has three really high quality microphones built into this. So of course you're gonna get crystal clear recording, especially when I'm just talking at it or around it like this. It'll capture high enough quality audio for the transcription, the translations, everything the AI needs. And if you wanted to listen back on your voice notes, which I don't do very often, you can do that as well. And the audio sounds really nice and clear. Some other technical specs I wanna run through very quickly. 25 hours of battery life for continuous use. So I can just keep this on and we can chat for 25 hours. I don't think I would put you through that. We've also got 20 days of standby and you can charge this up to 100% with one and a half hours uh, to full charge. It does use a proprietary, well, it does use a specialized charging. It's magnetic. It just clicks to the back of the device here. Again, because it's so small and thin, you're not gonna be able to insert a traditional USB-C or any type of port. So it just uses magnets and a connection on the back which is great because this same charger works on other AI devices that are similar. Internal storage is about 64 gigabytes, which is actually quite a ton when we're talking just about audio. It's about 435 hours of total recording, more than enough. And again, very simple design overall. Like I mentioned that toggle switch, it's just the two modes, external recording or phone call recording. And all the magic actually happens uh, on the software side via the app, which I will show you as well. So now that we're done talking about the physical layout, uh, this thing does have some cool laser engraved grooves here just to give it a little bit of design and aesthetics. It's a little bit slippery because there's no grooves, but that's fine. I will likely just be carrying it inside this wallet. And now you can see here, we have it in the included carry wallet. You've got room for charging and then just a thumb groove to slide it out if you need to. And of course it is MagSafe compatible. So this is normally how I carry this thing around. Now let's start talking about why I carry this around because I wanna be honest with you, I thought that these types of products would probably be 
outdated or even just unnecessary at this point. Where in 2025, you would expect Apple Intelligence, Gemini, any of the major kind of smartphone brands to incorporate a more intelligent note-taking assistant or option. And the answer is they just haven't. Apple Intelligence, the note app, the voice note app, it's bad. I, I really dislike it. And oftentimes I find myself needing it though. I'll be sitting in the car, I'll be listening to a podcast, maybe an idea comes up for a video or a business idea, or again, I just wanna brain dump my thoughts while I'm alone. And the voice app is just not great. And also the kind of voice to text functionality on my iPhone is again, really quite terrible. And that's actually why I found myself using this a ton. Like I mentioned, this is an AI voice recorder. You hit the record button, it starts to record everything that you say. Where it is much more functional and much more pleasant and ultimately much more productive than my crappy voice app on my iPhone or even my Pixel is the transcription, the summary, the brain mapping, the formatting and the organization of everything that I'm saying. So when I have an idea in the car, I can just say format this in a particular way and then brain dump my idea. Then I can open up the app and it has all of my notes really well organized, perfectly transcribed, and in a way that makes it a lot easier to use. And all of this AI technology, all the transcription and the agents, they're powered by ChatGPT and DeepSeek, which is pretty cool. And I think maybe one of the other questions that you're probably asking is how does this differ from say other options on the market? Although they all do relatively similar things. Uh, I think the tick note has some really cool additional features, which I'm going to show you. So when you open up the app, you're going to get a few different features and functionality that I really like. Of course, automatically transcribes everything that you are saying, right? So you're going to get a full transcript, which you can translate, uh, into a number of different languages. So if I want to translate to a different language, I've got Spanish, Italian, French, Dutch, Chinese, uh, the list goes on. You get about a hundred different languages that you can translate your notes into. On top of that, where it does differ from some of the other products available is live translation. So you can record this in a hundred different languages and it's going to take those notes down and then you can translate that to English if that is not your native language. So that alone is already really cool and I'm finding it a little bit more functional than some of the other options out there. The other thing as you're digging through the app is summary. Any option out there should be able to give you an AI powered summary from your voice recording as well as a transcript. So it works as described, which is great. That is usually what I will use it most often for is like I said, I'm brain dumping, I'm recording this video. There's just a lot of stuff that I'm saying. Not all of it is very useful. And the summary helps distill that into really organized talking points and bullet points that just make it easier for me at the end of the day. But I wanna talk about aha moments. This is something that is unique to the tick note. Now I just wanna read here, with aha moments, it automatically surfaces insightful highlights from meetings. So it's really good for creative ideation. As I mentioned, I could be talking in the car, recording a note for like 20 minutes, and not only will I get the summary, but aha moments will kind of dig through all of that content, all the things that I've said, and surface insights. Again, leveraging things like ChatGPT or DeepSeek to just give more context to what I'm saying and to maybe help me find patterns or problems or maybe even notice things from like long meetings I might have to sit on. The other thing that's really cool is what they call deep research. That I actually find really, really helpful. So if I am recording this video on the tick note, for example, and I want the app to just do a little bit of deep research on the product itself or to find me details around why 64 gigabytes is more than enough uh, storage for like wave files deep research is going to be able to tap into ChatGPT and DeepSeek and pull all of this additional context and information to say great based on the average size of a wave file 64 gigabytes will give you xyz number of things but it's going to be able to pull from the internet and it's gonna be able to pull data and resources that I may not have access to in my mind. And that is actually really cool and helpful. 
Of course, with Gemini or Apple Intelligence or other tools, you can do that. You can copy and paste information. You can ask Gemini. But with Deep Research, it's just a click of a button. So it'll take your whole meeting. You can hit Deep Research, and it's going to do a bunch of digging and research on the topics that are discussed in that meeting and in that recording. One other thing I wanna quickly note is that TickNote actually has both the mobile app and the desktop app. And as you can see here, the desktop app has all the same features and functionality. And again, it makes it a little bit easier to work with all of your different notes, see your mind maps and everything when you are working from a laptop. Now let's talk about data and workflow. So data security is really important for me and privacy. So again, all of the recordings, I need to make sure that the insights that are sent to ChatGPT or DeepSeek that come back are protected. So I think it's good to know that there is data security as a part of this and a part of the service that you pay for. The other thing that's nice is everything that you record and transcribe, you can export that uh, as WAV files, as TXT for transcripts, markdown summaries, which are really cool. And then as I mentioned, the other option you can get with this is your mind maps and you can export those as PDFs. I find the mind maps actually pretty interesting. Uh, especially when I'm just rambling like this, or I've got an idea, or maybe even again, uh, a brain trust meeting and there's multiple speakers, uh, mind map is really cool. And digging a little bit more into some of the transcription features and functionality, of course, because it is AI powered, I think you're gonna find it in some other options as well. It can distinguish between multiple speakers. So it's gonna be able to identify if Desmond is talking as well as speaker two and speaker three. So in the notes, you're gonna be able to break down who's talking, what they're saying, and also probably assign action items to each of those people, just based on the conversation. I find that really useful, because again, you can see here, we've got to-do lists that are generated, we've got bullet points and summaries, we've got themes and categories based on all the different topics that we're covering. And again, that's just really useful, and it's ultimately better than voice notes and voice to text on my iPhone, which is always with me. And again, it really depends on your use case and who you are and what you're doing. If you're anything like me, sometimes, yeah, you're sitting in the car or you're walking on the street and you have an idea and you're like, great, let me just open up a voice note, drop my idea. And as you're talking about your idea out loud, more ideas come and you expand on it. And by the end of your recording, it's like 10, 15 minutes of random brain dumps and you know, tangents, but that's really all you get. You get your voice recording or you get like the series crappy transcription, which is a very just literal transcription of everything you're saying. That's not what I want from my voice notes. What I want is for me to talk at my phone and for it to give me a detailed consumable and like organized summary of everything that I'm saying that I can then act on and expand on very much like a conversation or a situation you would do with like ChatGPT. Apple is just not delivering. And again, also in its defense, my Pixel doesn't deliver that quite well either. Like you have to open up Gemini and you start this whole conversation. And again, the format in which it records and delivers those notes is not what I'm looking for. But the tick note is something that is very much checking that specific, specific box that I've been looking to check for a really long time. And again, kind of going into that rabbit hole of why this is a great product for me is as a content creator, if I'm coming up with ideas or if I'm just doing research on products or if I'm testing a product, I can actually just turn this thing on and talk in real time about my thoughts on whatever I'm reviewing. And it'll ultimately take all of those live thoughts turn them into summaries, turn them into talking points, convert it into a script, give me things to say so that when I do ultimately film the video, my thoughts are organized, you're getting the information that you need, you're getting the use cases that are relevant to you, or you're getting the POV from me that is important uh, to helping you make a purchase decision. Now, speaking of purchase decisions, very much like other AI powered tools or software, there is going to be a subscription pricing model because it costs money to power AIs. So I think for the tick note, when you start off, you get a free month, right? You get 300 credits per month. And then if you need more, you can upgrade to a pro plan. So it looks like it's $12.99 a month 
or you can pay $79 for the entire year, which compared to some of the other pricing models from competitors is actually significantly cheaper. And for me, I think that's totally fine. $79 a year for the AI processing that's gonna happen in the back end to take these long brain dumps from me and turn them into usable summaries and notes and brain maps. And again, you get the additional like aha moments and the uh, deep research. That's totally worth it for my use case. And finally, the other thing that I forgot to call out earlier, because I'm just a bit of a rambler, and this is why you know I need something like this, is it has a built-in AI agent. It's called Shadow. And again, it's just gonna function very similar to a chat-based agent. I can open up the app. I can look at the transcription for my recording or deep research or aha or mind map or whatever it is. Then I can hit this button and chat with Shadow. So I can talk to it and ask it very specific questions about my notes or that meeting. And it's then going to take all the data it has access to and generate insights or just give me the answers that I'm looking for. So some examples, again, clarify how TickNotes mind map generation works. Great, I'm just gonna use that pre-canned question. And it's of course going to give me an answer that I can read through. So this is, again, really, really useful. It's not something that my iPhone is gonna be able to do. It's not necessarily something that my Pixel does well. But for example, if you've got Gemini and it's looking at a Google Doc that you've built, yes, you can ask Gemini about that Google Doc. But to get to that Google Doc state, to turn my voice notes into a document or a format that Gemini can analyze, well, that's an extra step. This kind of all happens in one. So I can just talk, turns that into a digestible format, both for me and for Shadow, so that when I'm asking this AI agent a question, it can just go through all of my contextual data and give me the right answer. The other thing that's really cool is as you record more and more meetings, voice notes, whatever you wanna record, Shadow and just the tick note in general is gonna have more access to contextual data on you and all the conversations you've had, all the thoughts and ideas and these aha moments get a lot smarter. Deep research gets smarter, your mind maps and your summaries, everything gets smarter because it all taking into context everything else you've created within the app. Anyways, this video went on a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'm actually more excited about this kind of technology than I thought I would be. And a lot of it is because of the lack of improvement from the phones and the devices that we currently carry, that this thing is actually really, really quite useful and fills a gap that I personally need a lot. I'm not saying that everybody needs an AI voice recorder, but if you are someone like me, who used to rely on their iPhone or their Android phone or their smartphone to just do voice recordings and kind of keep your life organized, this is going to perform infinitely better than your phone will. And it's not because this video is sponsored. It's not because I got one of these for free. Like I don't, I have other ones. I've, I've been using this technology for a while and I can just tell you that as someone who has a full-time career that creates content on YouTube, that is working on different business ideas and my own digital business, uh, this thing is great, especially as someone who has so many meetings. I really, really like this and it beats any feature and functionality that's gonna come straight out of your phone. Anyways, with that, if you guys are interested, I would definitely check it out. Do some research though. There are other options out there. This might have the lowest annual fee and still give you some of the best features and functionality, but do your research. This is a sponsored video. So like I said, uh, check out some of the competitors. I really like the Mob Wojcik Note. Anyways, that's it. I know I've been rambling for a while, which is why I need one of these. But if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this. I will catch y'all in the next one.